Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. Market outlook time for your next week in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Kind of an interesting week this week. A lot of question marks. We're not entirely sure what's going on with the Rule Breakers promo. With Rule Breakers set two, are they going to be just out of packs on Tuesday, tomorrow? Are they just going to be done and over with then? Are they going to get re-released back into packs, both sets? Are we going to get road to the final? A lot of question marks this week. So we're going to talk about it, talk about the market as well. And it's another Champions League week. So that's something that we have to kind of take into account as well. And also talk about what happened just a few hours ago with Squad Battle Rewards and some of the market movements that we are seeing happening on the market right now so let's actually start with that just a few hours ago we did have squad battle rewards i did mention in the video yesterday that there were going to be some buys around that time because some stuff was going to rebound now a player like this lucas card really met a card very popular to invest in some of the stuff did rebound a little bit from rewards a couple out of packs in forms and really meta golds did in fact go up because as you can see, Lucas was about 45,000 coins before rewards and it was now back up at 50K and still rising and probably will continue to rise into the morning a bit today on Monday. Looks like Hazard's up a little bit. Uh, Varane is up a bit, but some of the stuff is still down a lot lower than it was. Joe Gomez is 123K out of packs. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But I would expect that some of the stuff to rise up a little bit into the day on Monday. But again, gold cards are just not as much the name of the game anymore in FIFA. We're starting to get to a place where a lot of special cards are coming out. SBCs, promo players are coming out in the game. And there's just more demand for those cards instead of the gold. So I think, especially for Thursday flipping this week, and when we have things happening during the week uh, from now on in FIFA, I think even just trading in general myself, I'm going to be steering away from gold cards a little bit more and going a lot more towards ones to watches, informs, and other specials in the game because there's a bit more of a consistency with those cards. And uh, just because they're out of packs and there's more fluctuation with those, Whereas there's not as much demand for some of the gold cards. There's still a lot of demand for gold cards. We're only a month into the game, but not as much as there will start to be on the out of packs informs and team of the weeks and stuff like that. So wow, Renato is absolutely flying from where he was this weekend. That's interesting right there. But uh, let's take a look at again what some of these rule breaker cards are doing on the market because some of these cards got slammed today with supply. They are going down a lot. And this is the one card that's really sticking out to me, Alex Teixeira, who I think was overpriced to begin with. Uh, but this dude's down like 100,000 coins literally today. He was almost at 400k earlier today on Sunday. And the dude is now under 300,000 coins on the market. Royce is back down to 400k. Pug was 920. The dude was selling at 15 first hour or so of uh, a Friday on the promo. That's crazy. And I think these cards are coming down to a lot better prices. And it makes sense, right? Because we're actually realizing that the pack weight on the second team of Rule Breaker cards is a lot higher than the first. Pog was down right around 900K. So he's dropped off 600,000 coins. Even some of the cards from Rule Breakers Team 1 have reached not low points to where they were in packs almost, but they're pretty low, right? Like Douglas Costa's back to 435. He was almost 500K. Um, Mertens is down at 488. Llorente is down. Laporte is down at 478. Uh, Kane is even down like 60K. So a lot of these cards are just getting low after the weekend league sell-off. Now, the biggest question is when this Rule Breakers promo finishes on Tuesday, because I, I believe it is Tuesday. Yes, one day, 12 hours from now. So it'll be Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK. These Rule Breakers go out of packs. And that's very interesting to me because that's a Tuesday, right? So it's Tuesday. What is going to happen after that? Is EA on that Tuesday going to start dropping uh, Champions League content? And are they going to drop like loading screens on Wednesday and Thursday for Road to the Final? Or are we just going to have no promo this weekend? Or are they going to put all Rule Breakers back in packs for a couple days? It's kind of weird because this is ending on Tuesday. We haven't really heard anything about this. But one thing that I was a bit interested in today was this Denayer SBC that came out. I was not expecting an SBC because usually what they do is for a promo, and I know the Bellarabi is going after the promo date, but a lot of times for promo SBCs, they end at the end of the promo. So if in fact we are going to get Rule Breakers cards in packs again, uh, it would almost make sense because of the way that SBC is out for six more days. 
So we'll see, right? Again, I would not say that you have to sell your rule breaker cards, but I don't think I would really invest in anything yet. Um, if you're buying anything right now, it, maybe it's just because you have a few games of rivals left to play for your, your weekly allotment of 30 rivals games, or you're just trying out some cards for fun. But there's really not a lot to do on Monday to Wednesday in this game, except for objectives. Now, there are some objectives right now that I'm going to have to be grinding myself too. Akin Fenua and still finishing off uh, Rule Breaker um, Mukiele, which I'm very close to being done with. But other than that, there's really not a lot of stuff to do on Monday to Wednesday this week. So again, just like we saw last week on the market, I would expect to see stuff not really move around too much in price. All the hype is going to be based around people trading and um, people investing. And also with Team of the Week, there's going to be some interesting movements this week. Of course, with Gareth, Gareth Bale scoring today, his ones to watch was like 220K. He got subbed on, went up to like 250 or 260, went back down to 230 after the game, and is now back up to 250. I don't know if this guy gets an inform. I'm, I don't think he does, to be honest, but EA could very easily slide him in. So there's a lot of possibility with Team of the Week this week to be very interesting with ones to watch cards. So you're going to see a lot of hype build up on those. Wednesday is going to be another day of probably like leaks. And all sorts of crazy things happening with that. Uh, and then, yeah, there's just, again, a lot of question marks on what's going to happen, though, after Tuesday. Now, probably Tuesday, since it is a UCL week, we will see the U what UEFA marquee matchups. And that has dropped the market um, both of the last two Tuesdays that we've had. Because we've had that SBC come out on Tuesday the past two weeks with tradable pack supply. And what that has done is it's dropped the market. Some stuff has rebounded from it. Um, but... A lot of people last week bought their Thursday flips during that time frame, which wasn't a terrible idea if we're being completely honest. But this week, I think if you're going to be buying your flips on that day, the only flips that I'll be buying that early on Tuesday would be if there's any sort of panic selling with out of packs cards. And again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a lot of things that you're going to see me doing on this game now, it's going to probably revolve around out of packs informs and special cards, just because I think that's where a lot of people are starting to upgrade their teams with because they've played with these gold cards, right? Or they've got gold cards in their team that there's not a feasible card yet in the game they can upgrade with, but maybe they have instead of gold Jesus at striker, they want to upgrade to somebody like this Zaha. So this card is going to fluctuate out of packs in my opinion, because it's a prem striker, five star skills, which is very desirable this year in FIFA. So you're probably going to see me stick to more special card trading. And if you're going to buy out of pack stuff for your Thursday flips, which we'll talk about on Tuesday night into Wednesday, uh, Tuesday could be a decent day to look at that stuff if you get in early. Right now, of course, you're thinking no content on Wednesday. If you're going to buy your Thursday flips, the only risk is they put something out on Wednesday that, that makes the market go down. Then you're probably losing some coins. But again, let's talk about UCL before we we'll get into Thursday flipping later this week as the market does move and change. But let's talk about Champions League for a bit because there are Champions League games on Tuesday and Wednesday again of this week, and I think Europa League on Thursday as well. But we have to start talking about Road to the Final cards because some people think that Road to the Final will be the promotion coming this Friday because of Rule Breakers ending on Tuesday. People are thinking that um, Road to the Final cards will be released this Friday. So let's take a look. A lot of people were also saying they think it might be too early for uh, Road to the Finals. Last year, Road to the Final team number one was released on November 8th, and team two was released a week later on November 15th. So it was a two-week promo last year, November 8th and November 15th. Last year, match day four was on November 5th and 6th. Match day fifth was in the 26th and 27th of December. Now, of course, this year, 2020, we're a bit further behind, and they're playing a lot of games kind of scrunched together just because of the way things are with the late starting of the seasons and stuff like that. So we are on this Tuesday, we were on match day three, match day three. Now I would not be, I'd be fine if EA put out road to the final this early and they put it out during match day three and four, that'd be actually kind of sick, I think before Black Friday. Uh, but I could also see them waiting until almost after Black Friday because match day five um, looks like if I could click on it, it's on December 1st. So that'd be kind of right after the Black Friday promo. This is Tuesday, November 24th. So I honestly think that if they're going to drop Road to the Final, they if it makes sense for the FIFA calendar, I think they have to do it either this week, and if it's a two-week promo, they have to do it this week and next week, and then we have Black Friday after that almost. So I would honestly think that's how this 
kind of schedule will work out with the road to the final cards and with the promo coming this weekend. Now, we'll see if it actually does happen. But um, again, match day three this year for road to the final cards. Last year, they were released on match day four. That just means more possibility for people to lose coins. So from an EA standpoint, that's even better for them. More people could lose coins with fluctuations on which cards are going to make it from the group stage to the knockout stage if road to the finals are active in game. And that'll be more coins that we can make from trading as well. So that'll be fun. But uh, just kind of watch out for that this week. I don't know if it's coming, but we will see. So again, you UEFA marquee matchups this week. Real Madrid, Inter looking like a very possible matchup. Or Atalanta, Liverpool could be in the SBC with possibly maybe... P yeah, PSG and Leipzig looks pretty popular. Maybe Zenit and Lazio, possibly Chelsea and Rene. Uh, we'll see, man. But again, I would expect that supply SBC on Tuesday. And then honestly, after Tuesday, Thursday flipping on Thursday is like the only thing that's really guaranteed. Weekend League rewards on Thursday. We really don't know what's coming in the second half of this week. It's really kind of just all questions up in the air, if I'm being completely honest. Now, of course, we did mention the Rule Breakers cards possibly coming back into packs. EA has not said anything about that. We don't really know if that's happening or not for sure, but they, of course, could spring that on us in a moment's notice and put these guys in packs until Friday if they wanted to or even for even a whole nother week if they wanted to do that as well. So if I were you guys, I would not really go and panic sell a lot of those cards. A lot of these have been over-invested in, um, but I was mentioning in yesterday's video, a guy like this, Kamara, who was over-invested in, he was kind of chilling at like 50K all day today. And of course, today with the Denayer center back coming out, looks like he did go up a little bit, which helped some. But he was kind of chilling at almost his lowest price ever today on PlayStation, 52K and in the low 50s on the Xbox as well. Before the Denayer SPC came out today, he was looking very, very investable because a lot of people were finishing Weekend League and they were selling their investments. And that was kind of like dipping him down lower to a price that he had like his lowest price ever, even out of packs. So just be careful with these. I would say they're going to be great for trading, great for flipping uh, like this Douglas Costa. Of course, we have player of the month, right? It is now November. So we're probably going to see some player of the month voting start to pop up on Twitter and, and on the socials because that those awards are probably going to be given out here in a decent amount of time. I think the order, if we take a look at the live SBCs, for player of the month um we have them live which one expires first ansu fati expires in six days calvert lewin expires in seven Cramerich in 14 and then uh niane is in 20 days so probably i would expect la, la liga and the premier league player of the month sbcs to be released first uh and i would expect that voting to come out here pretty pretty soon um because of that so just keep an eye out for that voting later this week a lot of people are saying uh, it could be Kane or Sun for Premier League Player of the Month. That would be a big SBC. I'm kind of hoping for Sun. We'll see. And then, of course, Lewandowski is the favorite again this month. Uh, or not again, but he's the favorite this month of October for the Bundesliga Player of the Month. So a lot of SBC stuff is in the future. I'm going to be making some videos here in the future about maybe getting your club ready for icon SBCs and a lot of big player SBCs that could be coming. Because still, right now in foot, if we take a look at the cheapest players by rating, 84s are cheap, man. 84s at under 3,000 coins are very cheap. 85s, 6K are cheap. These cards are going to boom at some point, but it's going to take a big SBC for that to happen. 83s at 850 to 1,000 coins is very cheap as well. So again, one thing you're going to hear me recommend in the next couple of weeks is just do a club stock. Once you have a lot of coins, club stock 82s to 86s, 87s. I know the prices are uh, pretty cheap. To just, just throw one or two of each card in the club, throw a couple in the transfer list if you really want to. And you can honestly chill with those cards and just wait for the SBCs to come out because at some point, those cards will go up with SBC demand. It's just a matter of when does that actually happen. But again, if you're trying to trade and make some coins this week, probably the out-of-pack specials are going to be the best way to go. And actually, to end this video, I have my pre-order pack. So let's rip these at the end of this video and see if we can get anything. But this week with trading wise, I'm going to be looking at icons, out of packs, informs and special cards because they are out of packs and they're popular. So they're going to fluctuate around in price. And that's going to be a great opportunity to make some coins this week. Just in case, let me check on some informs right now. Firmino is 227. That's pretty cheap. Um, that's a card that I like to look at to flip. Kyle Walker is 570. 
Kyle Walker's center back card is going to be an interesting watch this week uh, with the possibility of him getting a right back in form. Of course, we have multiple ones to watch cards that are inflated right now, too. Um, no, man. Back to back non boards from the pre order packs. Oof. Rakitic, nice. But anyways, let me take a quick look at these and, and talk to you guys about these. We'll look at these more in the week. Partey was like man of the match for the Arsenal game, so he is inflated at the moment. Ziyech is extremely overpriced, possibly getting an in for him this week. I would sell him in the hype on Wednesday. Bale, I would sell into the hype on Wednesday as well. It's going to be crazy if he gets into Team of the Week, but we have three guys here. Three guys from Team of the Week number or wants to watch set one that could get into the team of the week, which would be very interesting if that happens. I think Leeds play tomorrow or in a couple days. Oh, Semedo. Semedo is another one. This guy is probably going to get into team of the week as well. He was man of the match in his game. So ones to watch this could be kind of crazy to trade with this week as well. Something to kind of keep an eye on. If you're doing anything in the game this week, if you want to get a little risky with it, there's going to be a lot of eyes on ones to watch cards and their fluctuations heading into Wednesday with Team of the Week. So that's going to be an interesting watch as well. But again, kind of like a big question mark on what's going to happen later this week. Just watch the Rule Breakers, kind of trade with those if you want to. Out-of-pack specials and icons are going to be the best way to go. Of course, if we do have SBCs that come out, tradable pack supply SBCs, then you will have a good opportunity to trade with gold cards. Just make sure you're trading with meta ones, very popular cards that bounce around a lot in price because they're just desired for a lot of people's teams. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. Just a lot of question marks, right? This week can literally be summarized with what the heck is going to happen. We don't know. EA Sports, let's see what you got. All right, boys, if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.